Games and welcome back to the 2015 Call of Duty World Championships presented to you by Xbox. And I am here with Josh Inman in Maniac, as you like to call yourself. My name is Tunt. And we've got a cool game on our hands, man. I, I was expecting Prophecy to come out after that first win and really just stamp their name on the series and take it 2 0. We'd be looking at the third map, possibly in Prophecies as well. But Revenge answering back in the SD. Prophecy did come out on fire, a lot of yeah. pressure put on those Revenge guys. Of course, we did see them take the lead there for a bit by a couple of rounds, 4-2. Revenge entered back with three in a row. We then went to the game 11, and Revenge just came out on top. Yeah, no, Revenge, I, I think the Moors were, were a big thing for them. They were getting some good kills. Those ones in school? Yeah, I know, it was a bit crazy. I mean, it was just, uh, well, we're not playing by a by, lot, by the looks of things. Uh, but I think... By your ladder was fair. Huh? <laughs> I'm no, okay. No, but yeah, it, it was it was all to do with the Moors and the close range snipes coming in for the team revenge. But let's see how they do here. I'm gonna go on board with the revenge first. Actually, Nagafin really impressed me. And wait for playing up like Comeback up late. This is what I like to see. Classic picking up the first blood, taking down Remy Pacento answers back before being dropped himself. Kill feed lighting up back and forth for both of these teams. We did see Revenge get early control of this side of the map. Nagafen, of course, chilling here on top of Aircon. He's going to have the the, uh, the drone in hand. Now, of course, here on Comeback, what you need to see teams doing is controlling this glass area, which is what Nagafen is doing right now. If you do this, get the kills. You're going to force the team to spawn over on green, giving you a clean run through to the uplink. Well... Let's see what Nagafan can do from this position. They're just trying to get some control here. This is the first time I've seen this map actually this weekend. Oh, four men do actually go down and Classic is looking for good for a point here. And this should actually be just the one for now. Could have potentially get two there, but now if they can hold down this green side, then it's real, real trouble for revenge. See, Classic, he's, he, he messed up his movement just a little bit. If he was able to go smoother, no doubt he would have went through for the dunk, but he played it really smart. He knew he was slowed up. He also knew that his team controlled glass. There was no doubt going to be a green spawn, so he threw it. And then, because of those smart plays, he was able to slay and help his team follow it up with the next dunk, making your score 3-0. I like what Aqua was doing there, but he's completely missed out. You know, his team just walks straight past that. They're not going to be able to get that one in. Oh, are they? Yes, they are. Yeah, the spawn is completely out. It's 5 to 0 now. Yeah, 5 0 is your score right now. Prophecy taking the early lead for Sento. Going to try and answer back here. He does have the drone in hand being unanswered right now. Throws it in, and they are on the board. Your score is 5 1. Well, Nagafin's just trying to do something there. He needs to try and stay alive. He's going to go down. But the thing is, with the preferred side from what Classic are on right now, then it, it's very, very hard once they get set up for you to stop leaking points, essentially. I mean, it's very, very easy for them to get it in as long as they can really just cover off green side. And that should be another one. They just about missed it with the ball. And I'm sorry, it's still alive. And that should be another two points on the board for Prof C, but not quite. Lots of kills going to come in there. That's going to be Nagafin. I'm very surprised he hasn't just reset that. I think we probably be thinking, yeah, he did the right thing there. Just reset the, uh, the draw in there. And you, you know, in this position, what you need to do, you really need to push down that left side and get some aggression on your team. Because at this moment in time, they're not being aggressive enough down there. And it's really causing them to lose many, many points. But on board with Akko now, that will be a big throw if he manages that one. The bounce is not going to make it. So, a little bit too eager with his throw. Yeah, not, not great position from him. I think he's trying to just put a bit of pressure on them. Embo's forced to throw it out of the map. So, 5 1 is still going to be your score with two minutes left. But as I say, oh, the Santo with the throw, it did go in actually. 5 yeah, 2. I, sorry, I meant Embo's missed ah, the. Uh, got you, yeah. got you. Yeah, yeah, 5 2 is now your score three point game which is incredibly close when there's still two minutes left we are of course in the first half over with classic now he's going to be attempting the jump up to aircon he did fall back down going instead through the middle you can see on your mini map the crossover from the players of revenge shutting that down very quickly lighting up for revenge right now they're going to answer back remy drone in hand he's going to be trying to make a move forward machilla trying to shut it down but it's not going to happen revenge answer back you're now going to score on a fight for yeah and you know what revenge really really good there just trying to get back in that it was good movement they made the right decision to go that way as soon as they had the draw and that's going to go in for another one they can set up for a couple here actually yeah they've got this amazing relay happening here for Santo just 
closing down the defensive players. Just make sure you keep an eye on that mini-map and see where these players are spawning. You had one player of revenge right near glass, one on yellow, which was forcing those prophecy players to spawn over in green. But as you can see, once the revenge players were taken down, the spawns have flipped. Oh. Revenge were coming out of there. Aqua with the turn on as well and Classic needs to do something special here. He should be able to pick up the kill. Not quite going to happen. Let's go on board with Remy. He should be able to get another two points. He can't make the jump. That's very clutch. EMP in there, but 7-5 now. And that's why that hardwired perk is so vital. These players, they kind of got to weigh up what they do here. A oh, lot of them no. run flak jacket oh, no, or classic. hardwired to shut it down. We saw a flak just before there, so Classic wasn't able to shut that one down. Eventually getting the kill on Remy and for Sando. Smack on one of the chops. Oh, wow. They're just lining up for him all trying to jump through this window. Not in my house, Classic says. Well, they could have gotten a couple more in there actually with 20 seconds to go. And the Amir, yet yeah, still actually, Machilla is going to look for the one point and not going to have on that front, but Revenge looking good here. 7 5, and I think that maybe you know, 7 6 and both does get one as we do finish up the round, but no more this side. You think 7 6 as we go into half time? Look, we're going to be seeing Revenge here now going on to the favorable side, but ever since the of course the patch here, we saw a mix up of the favorable spawns. I remember I made the same mistake yesterday. Now, look, moving in to the, the next half. I'm going to be very interested to see if Revenge can hold this lead. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Revenge now on the preferred side, but let, let's see what they do with it because, I mean, you know, it, it didn't seem as if Prophecy could do anything with that. I mean, they got a couple of runs off it, but after that, Revenge really came out, got aggressive, and made their own plays, and that's all they needed to do. And that's, I think, the only way you can really counter how well you can do on the other side. A lot of kills going to go down here. Oh, I'm going to go on board with Money Bait, see how he does here. Stun coming out, not really doing anything with it, but Ricky down this left hand side. Yeah, he's trying to make a move past Blue here, just picking up this drone instead. He decides to clear out the players out of glass, which is what you need to do. Now, watch where these spawns happen. You've got the guys from Revenge inside of green, uh, sorry, inside of glass, which of course means you're going to be seeing guys from Prophecy either spawning at Blue or over at green. And as you can see now, they are spawning green, causing them to come back. However, that enables the throw from Aircon, and as you can see, another point going on the board for Revenge. Yeah, Revenge looking really good here. And I tell you what, guys, actually, let's go on board with Revenge, and we'll, we'll actually go in for a listening with them. I'm going to go on board with Nagafin, but yeah, here we go, on board with Revenge. Nice, Nice. 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 Four! Four! Go! go. Oh, I should go for a point. I get uh, one. I still get one. Yo! Top they might, they, yeah, they yeah, top blue. Hold on, they spawn back blue, guys. They spawn top blue. They spawn top blue. They all spawn blue. I'm so... All blue. Yeah, I'm, I'm, fuck, I'm I fucked up spawns, my bad. No, uh, they're running it they're for running dunk. It. I died. I stunned him. He stunned him. He threw it. That's fine. It's fine. We gotta kill him out of our base, sir. Yeah, I spawn glass. Back, back! Rooftop, rooftop! Oh, he might try to go on green. One more glass. One bottom mid. Where should he spawn shot our base? He's glass, 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 glass. Let's go, we got a slate. It's huge, huge kills. Good job. Two in our base, they're gonna get a dunk. Yep, yep. Big kills. Oh, nice, get a throw down. I tried. Oh, no, we can't, we can't. Come on. One shot our base. We gotta get glass, guys. Come on. Huge kills. Good job, Buck. One shot. Yo, I spawn green. I'm here. That's him in. One bullet. I can't. I have no ammo. I have no ammo. He's going mid. Do you know mid by himself? Hold on. Nice. You might want to run that back out. There's two there, two in there, two in there, two in there. Let's get that ball. He grabbed the ball. He's going in the middle, he's going in the middle. Do you nice. Man, 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 man. I'm going to what? It worked last. Good shit, good shit, good shit. You got a good shit. Top guys, watch out. Throw it out. You got to throw it out. Throw it out. in the middle. Wow, guys, really, really intense there from Revenge. They are still in the lead, but only just in the pressure. It really is on from Propsy at the moment on board with Embos. He could probably just get a one pointer here, or does he want to put them in the lead? He's currently been stunned, and he actually kills his own teammate with the ball. I'm not sure what's going on there. Ricky has it all to do. Wow. They should have they should have at least tied things up just yeah. then, but instead they didn't. They got caught off guard by the strong defense. I mean, Prophecy, the player running the drone had two players running point for him, but he still wasn't able to make it. Not too sure what happened there. Oh, wow, Machilla should be making those shots there. Just about misses out, but wow. I, I feel as if uh, Prophecy have let themselves down here just a little bit with a couple of the passes and decisions that they're trying to make. But I'm well with Sendo now. 
to see what he's going to do. And he isn't going to get shut down from the back. And Remy's going to make up a kill. 21 and 26. Something we haven't talked about very much is the kills that everyone's got at the moment. Let's have a look over to the right hand side. And I would say it's pretty much revenge who are dominating from that side of things. Yeah, at the same time, we are seeing the 20 bombs coming out for pretty much all of Prophecy's players. It is Nugget Fan obviously leading the charge, though, from Revenge. 29 for 20 for Sento, though. The man of the minute, he does have the drone in hand. He's going to be trying to... No, I thought he was going to throw oh, it in, wow, but he has so beautiful well backup. And he's able to dive it through, making a score at the one-minute mark, 12 to 9. Prophecy a little bit behind right now. Revenge have the very real possibility of going ahead in this series as they just picked up the throw as well. Yeah, this should be game now. They really should be able to hold this down together. Come on, points, but Agua is heating up here. 27 and 20 there. Embos momentarily did have the drone. Not going to be able to get away with it, though. And Aqua currently on a three streak, really causing all sorts of problems for Prophecy here. Maybe we're going to get another one. It does go down. This may be the last chance for Prophecy now to try and get some points on the board. It's just two dunks away. They could still do it. Merchillo picked up the two piece for Sento, responded with a two piece of his own. 30 seconds left though and Revenge still have that four point lead ton. I don't see Prophecy coming back at this stage. No, I mean, I think they're really going to just waste this time here and it looks as if Revenge are going to walk away as the winners of this map. They're going to go 2-1 up in the series now. And they could be going up into at least third place now revenge they are one mother away from doing so that's the thing Tan, as we mentioned before whoever takes out this series does have their guaranteed third placing in aqua almost with the ace the team down but remy is going to get that last player that is a nice way to finish up that game for them but revenge taking the win 13 for 9 here on comeback up week we're going to be heading into game number four our ctf and these guys from prophecy they don't want to be knocked down in the lower bracket just yet. No, the lower bracket is a place you really, really don't want to be right now. <laughs> With the caliber of teams that are rocking around in there, it would be pretty detrimental to be down there. But obviously, you never want to be in the loser's bracket. But you look at how stacked this loser's bracket is, you really don't want to be down there. But map number four coming up, we'll be back with you very, very shortly. I have no idea who's going to take it. I don't know about you, but don't go anywhere. Coming up just after this.